Now, gentlemen, please, we continue the program, ladies and gentlemen, with a welterweight contest of eight three-minute rounds. Between introducing in this corner from Brighton, Peter Eubank. And from Glasgow, ladies and gentlemen, Gary Jacobs. At the weigh-in today, Eubank scaled 10 stones, 9 pounds. Jacobs, 10 stones, 8 and a half pounds. The referee for this contest, Mr. Roy Francis. The timekeeper, Mr. Tom Rice. in the black trunks who at one time looked like going places in the welterweight division and now trying to make a comeback after one or two disastrous defeats and meeting here the man in the yellow trunks is the older brother of Chris Eubank Peter Eubank from Brighton well a couple of years ago you wouldn't have put down much money on Eubank to win this but uh, Jacobs has had a rough passage over the last two or three years. He was the Commonwealth Welterweight Champion at one time and he held the WBC International title. That's a, a sort of world title for people who are not rated in the top ten. But he certainly seemed to be going places and then suddenly it all came apart. And now Jacobs is very much in the position of a man who has to make it all work again. South Point, Jacobs, comes from Glasgow. Uh, meeting an old campaigner here in Peter Eubank, who's getting on a bit, but uh, has met good men in his time, and in fact, made his name in the world of boxing by being the first person ever to beat Barry McGuigan, when McGuigan was just starting out as a professional. Jacobs, Black Trunks, former Commonwealth champion, hand from Eubank and Jacobs will need to tighten up the defenses here and take no chances as Eubank is perfectly capable of springing a surprise and knows how to take care of himself moment for Peter Eubank who was in a little bit of trouble trapped in a neutral corner there and here is the man who had him trapped Gary Jacob from Glasgow the former Commonwealth title holder and I remember seeing him in this very arena at the Albert Hall in uh, oh, almost exactly three years ago when he defended his Commonwealth title here against Richard Rover from Zimbabwe and knocked him out in four rounds. And those were the days when he was really on top of the world. And this is the opponent tonight, the elder brother of Chris Eubank, Peter Eubank from Brighton. Famous boxing family, the Eubanks down in Brighton. The least three that I know will box. 
This is a scheduled eight rounder. And this is round two. Gary Jacobs in the black trunks and PDU Bank of Brighton. seemed to take a wrong turning when he took a fight that he didn't really need to take in America against an experienced pro called Buddy McGirt and McGirt was a bit too clever for him and a bit too strong for him and uh, he had a bad defeat against Buddy McGirt and he's never been quite the same since it was a substitute fight that he really shouldn't have taken lost his Commonwealth title to the Canadian, Donovan Boucher, quite a fair performer. Slippery customer. All the Eubanks know their way around the boxing ring. And this one's no exception. Eubank has been in with people like uh, Terry Marsh, Mo Hussein, the former Commonwealth lightweight champion, Tony Willis. So uh, he's been around in good class for a long time, Eubank. And Jacobs, I think, is not going to find this easy. Proving to be quite vulnerable when the quick punches came. And again. Two rounds completed. And it's wide open. At least that's what I think. Well, I don't know what Gary Mason thinks. No, I don't think it's wide open, Harry. I think Jacobs is um, slowly getting a workout that he needs after being out of the ring for such a long time. Somebody like Eubank will not really hurt him in any way, but he won't stop or give up. He'll give him a good test for maybe the full distance, and um, which will clear um, Jacobs' mind in any way of any doubt about whether he can actually, whether he can do it or go through, go through it all anymore. So this is a good test for someone making the comeback after. A, he looked a, a good year. prospect at one time, Gary Jacobs. He really looked as though he was going places. It, but some. Um, bad matches that were made or mistakes yeah, that were made cost him his career dearly. Game unstuck. That's right. Buddy McGirt, I think, was the champion transformed it. Yes, it, that made a lot of difference. And then that Mickey Hughes knockout for the first time wouldn't have helped at all either, would it? <laughs> Gary Jacobs in the black trunks, the former Commonwealth champion, former WBC international champion. And Peter Eubank. Jacobs, southpaw, leads with his right. Jacobs was a very interesting boxer in his early days. All his early fights were in Scotland, and his uh, his reputation didn't spread much beyond Scotland for a time, and then suddenly, under Mike Barrett's management, he, he became quite a star. 
and won the Commonwealth title and that uh, WBC international title. But it didn't last and things went wrong and now he's in the position as many fighters have been before him of having, as Gary said, to do it all again. Roy Francis, refereeing. You see, when Eubank throws those quick right hands, Jacobs is wide open to him. And if he meets a better puncher, he's going to be in trouble. Don't hold, don't hold. Elbows down by the side there. He took those punches on the arms. Just in front, but only just. But showing all too much uh, looseness in defence. Gary Jacobs will be 26 next month. Winner of 28 of his 32 fights. Term pro in 1985. Astonishingly enough, he's had nine championship fights. That includes things like Scottish championships, those uh, WBC international title fights, Commonwealth title fights. Well, that's a lot of championship experience. And it's, uh, it's strange that he has now, at this stage of his career, to be feeling his way back into the game when really he should be enjoying the fruits of success. from the right-hand corner comes out with a lot of grease plastered above his right eye and indeed above the left eye as well. So the corner a little bit disturbed as to whether he might pick up a cut there. Well, that was a left hook to the body. I don't know whether that's what put him down, but he certainly took a left hook to the body. I think perhaps he just stumbled. trying to work away past the leading right hand. deliberately now working to the body presumably under orders from the corner
Again, the quick, short right hand takes Jacobs to the head, but there isn't enough power behind it to hurt him. Jacob's working very hard to try and keep Eubank away from him with the right jab. This has been a very clear round for Jacobs. It's probably the best round he's had. Completed. Gary, let's have your verdict. Well, I think what Gary's doing, he's now beginning to warm to it. He's beginning to realize, yes, well, I'm back and I'm half okay. And he's beginning to take charge, but it's we're getting a misleading um, idea of it. This was a knockdown, or I don't think it was a knockdown, but he certainly caught him a punch. Yeah, a punch was but landed. I think he fell over his foot, didn't he? Yeah, the southpaw stance, the feet always get in the way. Let <laughs> me see it from above. But as you said before, Eubank is landing that right hand. Yeah, he finds it surprisingly easy to get it in, doesn't he? Yes. Well, Gary Jacobs is lucky that Eubank can't punch hard because then he's might, he might have a whole different attitude to the fight. Right. Looks as though he's picked up a very slight cut there in the corner of the eye. So Jacobs coming in from the left with that uh, minor damage in the corner of the left eye, the outer corner. spot on the face of Jacobs. Very much right hand against right hand now, the right lead of Jacobs against the right counter. Eubank. <laughs> One of the great turning points in Jacob's career was the fight with Mickey Hughes. When he seemed to be well ahead after eight rounds, and then in the ninth, he took one left hook that flattened him for the first time in his career. So he's had a lot of setbacks and a lot of disappointments in the last couple of years. looking as though he's fairly content that he can't be hurt. But Eubank's still working hard, finding the counter punches and continuing to make this a very interesting contest. Because you have to look at this as a it's a big test for Jacobs. He's got to get past this with some style and conviction. 
At the moment, it's looking like quite a hard job for him. <laughs> an easy run for Gary Jacobs as the previous one and uh, he picked up a lot of counter punches there they're still working on the the minor damage of the side of the left eye there is blood there as you can see from the, the swab but it doesn't appear to be bleeding badly and uh, during the round there was not much sign of damage but it's in an awkward place and if Eubank open that up a bit then Jacobs would most certainly be in some trouble Peter Eubank the old pro been around a long time Peter Eubank in those yellow trunks He's been a professional now for more than 11 years. imagine at this point that uh, Gary Jacobs might, might just be feeling a bit frustrated he's uh, not made his punches tell against his man and it's beginning to look quite a struggle and really Jacobs should have uh, dominated this much more than he has done and no matter what he's done so far it hasn't appeared to have uh, worried Peter Eubank too much. Boy Francis telling Eubank not to hold. Still doing it. Mr. Francis is a strict uh, disciplinarian and he won't stand for that too long. Eubank was able to catch Jacobs with the left hand. Really, Jacobs shouldn't be taking those sort of punches at this sort of level. Jacobs not able to dominate it in perhaps the way one would have expected. I think Gary Mason might agree with me that he's making hard work of, work of this. Yes, for if you look at the two fighters' records on paper, you see two different class of fighters. And uh, Gary Jacobs should have been out there and dominating the fight, but instead he's been cut himself and he's he's scuffing with Eubank. Um, if you're a class above someone, you don't scuff with it, you show your class. That is what Gary Jacobs is not doing at the moment. Do you think that's because the career hasn't gone the way he thought it might and maybe it's too hard mentally now to, to assert himself again? Yes, yeah, so after the setbacks he's had, um, 
to come in after a year and have a little bit of a tussle with someone, it might it, his confidence might not come forward in the way he might have wanted it to with a, if he'd had a quick win. Jacobs, the former Commonwealth Waterweight Champion, wearing black, against Peter Eubank of the famous Eubank fighting family from Brighton. And, uh, well, I think Jacobs is in front. Couldn't be much argument about that. But nonetheless, it's not been easy for him. And still, he's picking up those right counters. <laughs> and against a fellow with a better punch than Eubank, he would have been in some trouble by now. trying to let the punches go, but they don't quite connect. They don't quite have the timing. They don't have the crispness they should have. And now beginning to show signs of tiredness. There's a lot more missing going on. The punches are not quite finding the target. Good little right dig up underneath there from Jacobs, but it didn't make any difference. And the Jacobs corner beginning to get slightly perturbed. Anxious cries of, come on, Gary from Mickey Duff, his manager, his new manager. And beginning to look more and more as though it's going all the way. Finishes the round on top. A weary looking Eubank flops to his stool at the end of the seventh, one round to go. And it's quite noticeable now that when Eubank's lips come apart, you can see the red there. He's been damaged around the mouth. But it looks as though he's going to go the distance. And that must be quite disturbing for Jacobs, who would have been fancied, I think, to have done a lot better than this. Gary, would you agree with that? He should, he should have stopped him, I think. Yes, a, a stoppage win would have been a, a satisfactory one for Jacobs. Jacob, in going eight rounds, is going to answer a lot of questions, but it depends on what the questions were that he asked himself. <laughs> well, it's never easy to come back, is it? Uh, no. Particularly when you've been very near the top and then it's all dropped away from you. Yes. Uh, and uh, Well, I suppose the good thing that come out of it, he'll get a workout, won't he? He'll get some sort of very good idea. Three minutes of this welterweight contest between Gary Jacobs, the former Commonwealth welterweight champion, wearing the black trunks, and Peter Eubank, the elder brother of Chris Eubank from Brighton. And Eubank, an old pro who's been around for more than 11 years as a professional, has really given him a good workout. And at no time has Jacobs ever looked like stopping him. There was one moment in the earlier rounds when Newbank was on the floor, but I don't think from a punch. I think he fell over the, the leading leg of uh, Jacobs, the southpaw. Apart from that, it's been fairly routine. I think 
Eubank is much more the tired of the two now. And Jacobs, with two minutes left, is piling on the pressure. Eubank trying to show Jacobs that he's not really tired and he's still there to do something but uh, I think he's desperately tired <laughs> Eubank determined to go the full eight runs and the odds are that he will Minute left. And Jacobs very much on top in this final round, probably dominating this round more than he has any previous round. And that's, I think, because Dubank is very tired now. And Jacobs is going to cruise his way home now to a points victory. <laughs> Last 15 seconds. This is easily the best round that Jacobs has had. And if it were a 10 round, you'd fancy him to stop you back but he won't there's the end and Jacobs is the winner on points which is absolutely correct but I don't suppose the camp will be all that pleased with that performance as Gary Mason was saying it's probably a good workout for him but it perhaps proved to him that uh, he's a long way to go before he gets near the top as he was three years ago Jacobs, 80 points. The winner, ladies and gentlemen.